Greetings, global audience. He said his biological father introduced him into internet fraud, how to be scamming people because he as a father could no longer cater for him. So it has come to this extent in Nigeria. I've been told that parents are praying for their children to excel in Yahoo business. But seeing this one, that the father is the one that even talked him into doing it and even went as far as even buying him a phone. In short, let's watch. Hey, my people, I see the hot. It don't happen, no. Papa don't carry 17 years old boy, go put for HK. Now, nah, now, nah, the 17 years old boy, don't use Papa to do the Hey, there is just a problem, you know the finish. Hey, hey, man, not talk too much because this 17 years old boy don't begin to confess now because the team don't begin to worry. Man, man not talk too much. Man, I watch the video, please. After watching this video, don't forget to share this video and please follow my page for part two because I'll post the part two after this part one. Man, I watch him. My name is Bam Lele Omotosu. Speak louder. It all started April when I went, when I went to meet my dad in Saple. So my dad took me to HK. Your where, daddy yes. took you to where? HK, office. To HK? Yes, where Yahoo Boys is. Your father took you to Yahoo Boys' office? Yes, my daddy, always, when I, if I follow him to work, he always told me that my age made us to drive big cars, just do big things, build house. So the space of money hurted me. So I was thinking about big things, doing, do, going to do great things. So my daddy told me that he's going to, to take me to one of his friends. Because he has many connections. So he took me to one boy. Hold on first. The HK is a Yahoo office. Yes. Where, where they carry Yahoo boys to go and train. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. So your father took you there to for training. Yes. That your mates are driving cars. Yes. All right. Yahoo. The father said his mates. How old are you? I'm just 17 years old. His mates are driving cars so let me take you to the yahoo house go and learn so that you can drive oh yeah go ahead so he took me there he, he bought me a phone so i just start gradually i was going so the first thing i learned i just learned how to hack facebook instagram and war defense so i was going there my phone broke down on the my phone broke down on the road so i went to meet my dad at my, because my shema don't to buy phone for boys. It don't so. So there is a shema that train people for the Yahoo. Yes, you have the shema. Ah, we used yeah, to call yeah. it a shema. Ah, that yeah, yeah. In, Go his, ahead. in South Plain, Share Road, that you see the group of Yahoo boys. Always, they're always in food, driving bins, lasers, different type of cars. So I went to meet my dad. That my boss said that he's not going to buy phone for me. That I need to buy phone. So we were struggling to buy phone. On the line, they arrested my dad. One of uh -huh. his, one of his customers. Uh -huh. He gave him something to do. He didn't do it. Uh -huh. So, the money that was with me, I have no choice. I, I use it to pay him. <laughs> so, we work for another morning again. Then I will not tell my dad I'm not going to go back to that place too, mm. because everything is very hard. I'm very, I'm very, I'm suffering there. That I just eat sometimes two square meal a day. I don't even sleep at night, even in the afternoon. What do you do while, while you are not sleeping? We press now. What are they pressing? <laughs> we press, we press our phone now, we do Yahoo. Okay. So, <laughs> then my dad, we walk out, then I was able to buy a phone. So I, I went back. So around June, I think June, yes, I took my first ticket was almost seven hundred dollars. Eh? So you say what is? Seven hundred dollars. What is dollars? Dollar. Your first, your first. Okay, your first uh, peak. Yes. Uh -huh. first. I just Sev heard that English recently. Peak. Yes, my first okay. ticket is seven hundred dollars. Okay, peaking. Your first yes. ticket. My uh, shelf from it was one hundred and fifty thousand. Uh -huh. I didn't give my dad. I didn't tell him that I take money from what I was doing. I keep that to myself and I beg my Shema that Shema, please don't tell my dad. Do. So I called my <laughs> mom. Before that, before my, when my phone spread, I called my mom that Mom, look at where my daddy take me to 
So I said I should give me phone. I don't have phone. My mom was not telling me that. You not know, say okay that she would put phone for me in moto. Then my mom called pastor. She was not telling me that. Pastor said I should not give me phone. That she don't have one with me. Any yahoo money. That anyway I call her name is going to backfire me. I was not saying that. Is what are you saying to me? So that vaccination, I was not telling her that for life. If I make it, I'm going to suffer you. That so, if you make it. Yes, I'm going to suffer. Okay, your mom initially wanted to buy you the phone. Yes. So it's like he spoke to me. Yes. And I said you shouldn't try it. Yes. Then that you want to use it for Yahoo. Yes. So you now reply telling her that if you make it in life, you are going to suffer her. Yes. Okay, go ahead. So when I take my money, $150, so I have to change my clothes set, then buy a new phone. So I was doing it. Then few weeks after i took 500 dollars again so i will not celebrate him because each time you take money from the hk you will become next boss close to boss you early you call it different type of name what so, is the name they call you slim daddy i want to know now eh? slim daddy go ahead so 